not an opportunity given. It's because I was a crossbred myself for a generation without any bl pure black or pure white in my veins. If I can be the white at university, I was not degenerate. So selecting among the great Zebu Sahiwal jerseys, or Zebu jerseys, and selecting among them for production, I'd produce the breed that I wanted. I knew the methods of breeding, the art of breeding, what I should do, follow the science of it, which I followed. When they ask me what guarantee I have that is going to be a success, I say I can only guarantee it from my own pedigree. Dr. G.C. Brown tells us something of the importance of the Jamaica Hope as a breed. In 1943, when Dr. Lecky came to Hope to work on the Jamaica Hope cattle, I was then a junior master of Jamaica School of Agriculture. And at that time, we had a lot of problem with cattle, shortage of feed, and what have you. And then there was a brucellosis campaign to eradicate brucellosis from the government herd, and indeed the whole of Jamaica. And in the process of taking blood from these cows, we had a number of junior technicians who seemed to have gone the wrong way around it and infected a lot of these cows with anaplasmosis or tick fever, as a result of which we had a large percentage of the cows going down with tick fever or anaplasmosis. And at that time, the treatment was very almost primitive to know, with the result that a lot of nursing had to be done. And that's where Dr. Lecky and I, and a fellow by the name of Sammy Gage, had to do a lot of work sleeping in the cow stalls at night for weeks in order to keep some of these cows alive. And that's where we come very close because in watching these cows and nursing these cows, we had to pass the time along in talking. And I learned a lot from Dr. Lecky during that, those years. Um, he was determined to develop the Jamaica Hope cattle. And um, this was the nucleus of the whole Jamaica Hope breeding program. And therefore, every effort had to be made to keep these cows alive. Because if we lost all the cows from this disease, then it would be the end of the whole work. The Jamaica Hope cattle is indigenous, as you, say, you can call it, to Jamaica. And is the best tropical milk breed of cows that you can find. It's a pity that we have not recognized the importance of this breed to our development of the dairy industry because all the importation of Holstein cattle has taken place. It costs millions of dollars and has to keep veterinarians behind them to keep them alive. It's not worth the Jamaica Hope cows because they don't need to have all these experts behind them to keep them alive. They are tough. Are good milk producers, and one of the beauties about the Jamaica Hope cattle is that they produce you a calf a year. Dr. Lecky went to Edinburgh University, and in 20 months, he received his doctorate degree and his thesis on genetic improvement in dairy cattle in the tropics immediately brought him international fame. My work with the Jamaica Hope was pioneering work, the first of its kind in the type of work. So that going to Edinburgh, analyzing its work here, analyzing some other work from Africa, my thesis became standard work for the tropics. And from that work, other people have been able to develop breeds of cattle, which the Australian zebra jersey is one of its gold comb. My thesis has been used at different universities and been um, copied all, all over the world. How did you get to go to Edinburgh? Um, when I came back, I started working back at home, mm -hmm. and I started to do on the development of the Jamaica Hope. First, I did it with the farmers and doing the scientific work at Borders. Well, it reaches a point there, 
that I have acquired more advanced knowledge. And secondly, I want to analyze the work as far as it was gone. I was doing the same work with the Holstein as I was doing with the Jersey. It was coming to the point where only one breed I could carry because I hadn't got the, um, the lands nor the personnel to do two. So I decided to go to Edinburgh. I did think of taking a doctorate <laughs> when I was going to Edinburgh. But the Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, I went to speak with Dr. Taylor. And he said, um, the only sensible thing to do is to do a doctorate. People don't have time for you to try to get the knowledge that you want and get a wider base. So I decided for Edinburgh. There were two reasons, I suppose. Mm -hmm. In 1947, FAO, 47, 48, FAO saw the work I was doing at Hope, and they recommended that, that work be followed. I didn't know anything about what FAO said, but it was in the FAO papers that came to Jamaica. It's when I was at Edinburgh that I really realized that my work was being followed by FAO. I saw visitors from different countries of the world. I saw people coming and wanting to um, offer me to go and do the work in their country. But I told uh, the ambassador, straight and plain, that he can buy his country of the money to uh, employ anybody of my caliber. My country couldn't employ me. Nor did my country understood who I was. Therefore, uh, it was obvious that I had to remain and do the work for my country. As well as working on the Jamaica Hope, Dr. Lecky also worked on the development of the Jamaican Reds. These Jamaican Reds are the result of breeding the Red Pole with native cattle, and by careful selection, we have been able to develop an ecotype which is called Jamaica Reds. Dr. K. E. Wellington was also influenced by Dr. Leckie. Dr. Leckie was always a part of the Jamaica School of Agriculture. The man fired with enthusiasm for a job which he had to do for the benefit of his country. Many of the intricacies relating to the Jamaica Hope to animal husbandry and farm management were imparted to me by this giant among men during that period. And today I am responsible for the care through Jamaica. Since embarking on animal breeding as a career, I have had a great deal unfolded to me about the work and work of Dr. Blakey. He arrived on the scene when the atmosphere was hostile, when there was no pioneering work done in his field. He had a vision. He stood his ground and he fought valiantly for the development of agriculture. Although it is a significant achievement, his work with the Jamaica Hope is only a small part of the great contribution made by Dr. Lakey. The Jamaica Blacks, Jamaica Brahmins and Jamaica Red Poles were created under his guidance as well. His work with poultry, both in the early days and after his retirement, is a career experience all by itself. And what is even greater, he pioneered the field of animal husbandry in Jamaica. <laughs> that I saw my life being played. First, as a child being programmed by my environment, then as a man trying to manipulate the environment to create more food per acre 